Warning, what you're about to see is manliness at its peak without any shame. You will not be able to unsee what you're about to see, but I promise you at the end of this video, your mouth will be watering. What's up guys? It's your girl Miss Hobbs, and I want to know what you chewing today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Check me out on Roku as well. Today, we're gonna be prepping some ribs and chicken for the smoker. All right, y'all, hee <laughs> hee. Time to hit the dough. It is very important to start with dry meat. You want to dry your meat. Dry it, just pat it dry. Because that's just what they say. So I'm, right now I'm just patting my meat before we're going to rub the meat. I mean, we're going to season it and stuff. So as you can see here, it should be dry. I have it on this paper towel here. And I'm also using a glove because salmonella, guys. You don't want none of that. I don't want no salmonella. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with some olive oil on one side. Just a nice little coat in there. Just to help get the seasoning on it, which we're gonna use this thing called Some Kind of Wonderful. I don't know. You may ask why I'm using it, and it's because it was in the cabinet. So that's why. So we're generously gonna be Seasoning our meat. Season the meat all over. Yeah, let's get that all over there. You guys like that? Season the meat. I'm gonna stop being weird. No, I won't. Let's see, get that all over there. Um, what's in this, you may ask? It has 12 spices. Garlic, onion, powder, salt, celery, and parsley flakes. That's not 12, but it's all good. Um, I feel like I want a darker color to this as well. So, I'll put some more stuff on there, I think. Here, we're just going to turn them over. And I'll spray them again. As you guys see, I'm just touching the chicken with one hand, leaving my other hand completely free. That hand shall not touch chicken. All right, so let's spray this side. All right, and let's nicely season this side. All right guys, so what I did here is I combined a couple different rubs here. I did this North Woods Fire Seasoning, which has, let's see what it says it has in it, coarse flake, salt, chipotle pepper, Hungarian paprika, um, tele cherry, I don't know what that is, black pepper, garlic, rosemary, thyme, and cayenne, and some of this Galena Street, which says chicken and rib rub. Uh, this has salt, sugar, black pepper, paprika, nutmeg, sage, cayenne, and crushed red pepper. To be resourceful, I put it in this shaker bottle, the one that I was just using for the chicken. I use that all up. So I'm gonna reuse that as my shaker. And I think I may kick it up a notch with some of Grown at Home in West Virginia, some of his super hot blend right here, the West Virginia Sunrise. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there. Uh, what I just did here is I took that membrane off of the ribs. Uh, I don't like that membrane that's on the back of the ribs. So I took that off. Once you find a little corner of it, you can pretty much peel it right off. I'm going to use mustard. I like this kicked up horseradish one with Emerald Gossie's face on it. Bam! Bam! Pow! Pow! Pam! I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, so I'm gonna rub mustard all over here on both sides. And then I'm gonna sprinkle this on there, the little combination I made. And I'm gonna do that to all three of them. Um, so I'll show you guys that stuff in just a moment. 
Guys, I can't reinforce this enough. Dry your meat. Dry it. Pat it dry. You want your meat dry. I mean, in this instance, you want it dry. All right. Gloves on. Not everyone likes to use mustard. I personally do. All right, just coat it on. Some people use Worcester, Worcestershire, however the heck you say it, up to you. But I like to use mustard. You just really wanna coat it everywhere. I'm gonna show you guys. You want a nice thick layer See? Just kind of sprinkle it on. Get that rub nice and covered. Pretty much every inch. You want to also make sure you get the sides. Mmm. This smells good. See here? Just get everywhere on here. Kind of. So you don't hesitate to shake it off on here. Oh, we also got to get the other side. So let's see. Miss a little spot right there. Really, guys, cover every inch you can. You want all the seasoning you can get on here. Nice thick layer. All right. So now I'll get some mustard on the other side. There we go. Nice. Just rub it in. All right. Now, of course, when you go to cook this, take this out of the fridge maybe like an hour before you put it in the smoker because... Another thing you want to do is you want to smoke your meat close to room temperature. You don't want to smoke your meat cold. Don't ever go in the smoker cold. You want to start to get to room temperature. So as you see, we're getting a nice thick layer on here. Get about right there. Don't forget the ends. Don't forget, as I said, get those bones on the side. All right, guys, I think you get the idea here. I'm going to do this two more times. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, so what you see here is the chicken that will be put in the smoker tomorrow. I'll put it in a little bit after the ribs because they shouldn't take as long to smoke. And then we also have the three racks of ribs. As you can see, the moisture is already starting to come out of the ribs, so I have extra seasoning to take care of that. I also have some extra spots I didn't quite get, as you can see right there, so I'll touch that up tomorrow. But uh, yeah, we will catch up tomorrow when I'm ready to turn on the smoker. Hey guys, I got the trigger all set up here. And all I have to do is turn it on, set it to the smoke level. And on, we're going to turn it to smoke. So it's going to start heating up. I have to add some more pellets in here. So what happens, there's a little auger in here, it turns, heats up starts a fire on the inside here and creates smoke which comes out of that chimney so we're gonna let this warm up then we'll get the ribs on all right the smoker is pretty fired up here you see smoke coming out of the chimney hopefully on camera let's uh slap these ribs on here the ribs right here and rib number one I'll have to sprinkle that a little bit more where the uh, tongs were you always want to have a good crust also guys just like I was saying yesterday you want to cook with warm or not warm but room temperature meat so what I did is I took this out. oh shit that sucks we're not gonna talk about that <laughs> That's gonna be a-okay. So, <laughs> hold on, I'll be right back. We're not gonna talk about that. Um, I just did a little surgery on there, brushed it off a little bit, recoated it with some uh, of the rub, and uh, it's good as new. No, it's good, it's good. One minute rule, 30 second rule. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be good, definitely. We're just not going to talk about it. Alright guys, so we're about three hours in right now into smoking. Uh, I like to do the 3-2-1 method, which is three hours of smoking. 
and then two hours you wrap in aluminum foil with some brown sugar and honey and then the last hour you kind of sauce it up and put it back on the grill so right now I'm going to show you what they look like right now and then I'll show you how I do the whole brown sugar honey thing so let's take a look here all right good coloring a little bit good crust looks good it's uh do it right here. Hopefully I don't drop any this time. So I'm gonna put brown sugar all on top here. It's kinda clumpy, but it'll be okay. And then, here's some of my spicy infused honey. And you're just gonna drizzle that all over it. Oh yeah. All right, so let me just Wrap this up. I've got another piece to do over top here. Not quite an expert at this part, but it's a okay. There we go. So in this stage right here, uh, the wind ribs are going to kind of steam up a little bit, get some more flavor on the inside, and that's what's going to make them a lot more tender. Alright guys, we're going to kick the temperature up to 225 and let it go for another two hours. See you back then. We're about an hour into the covered portion of putting the ribs back on. And I just put the drumsticks on. It's a little tight in here, but I'll have a little bit more room once I get those out of aluminum foil for the last hour. I hate having them so bunched together, but... Uh, what can you do at this point? There's only so much room. And also, opening up the smoker, it does lower the temperature because it lets a lot of that hot air out. Uh, so, just keep an eye on that, guys. Cool, guys. So, what you're going to see me right now do is unravel the uh, ribs here. And then we're going to sauce them up quite a little bit. So, here we go. Let's see how the chicken's doing. almost good enough to eat right now. 
going on. Cool. One for each one. I have a Kansas City style. I have a dark style barbecue sauce and a ghost pepper barbecue sauce. So I'm going to do each one a little bit differently. And uh, yeah, I'm going to sauce them up and then get them back on the grill or on the smoker. Cool guys, so the ribs are all glazed up. Now they're gonna go on for one more hour and they're gonna get a nice crust. And uh, I mean, you can see the bones popping out. They're good enough to eat already. But yeah, they're gonna get a little more caramelization. Get a lot tastier. Chicken legs still going. They're looking good. I just turned them over. So uh, yeah, beautiful. Oh yeah, these look good. Time to peel these off the smoker. Chicken, I'm gonna turn them over. They're looking pretty good too. Oh yeah. All right, let's peel these off and then uh, I'm gonna put them inside, let them rest for a while and then we'll cut them up and see how they look on the inside. Here we are guys with the ribs in the chicken. I'll show you a picture of the chicken that's not nearly as exciting as the ribs. I'm gonna cut into one of these just so you guys can see the inside. I should have done this with a cutting board, but it's all good. I'm just gonna show you guys here. Oh, this is beautiful. Take a look at that so you can see the smoke ring. Oh yeah. Is that kind of focus? You can see how juicy it is on the inside. Oh yeah, that is perfect. All right, I'm gonna take a quick bite. Mmm. Oh yeah, this is good stuff. Guys, I like making ribs. Catch you next time. What's up guys? It's your girl, Miss Hobbs, and I want to know what you chewing today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Check me out on Roku as well. Today y'all, we're going to be prepping some ribs and chicken for the smoker. Take three. What's up, guys? It's Girl Miss Hobbs, 